Hey everybody, this is Lee, the Happy Nappy Trucker. I'm coming at you at CDL School Day 13. I know you're probably going to clown me for my days. Um, hell, it might even be Day 14. Uh, yeah, it's Day 14. We took, I took my CDL test and I passed that bitch. So I am now a uh, CDL awareness holder. So as soon as I go turn in my awareness form to my DMV, I will have my CDL. Uh, before I do that though, I need to um, take my hazmat endorsement test because I want to get my hazmat because uh, the company I'm, I'm gonna go to uh, will have hazmat and tanker available for me. So I'm real excited. Um, one thing I have learned is I I thought I had done my due diligence in researching the companies. I really had thought that, uh, that I had uh, done a great job of um, getting the best offer. Um, and this, this could still be for some people, but uh, given my situation where, um, um, where I needed school taken care of, but I could make an addition, initial down payment, um, and I was looking for a company to give my oppor give me my first opportunity. I was fine with taking a you know a year deal and and fulfilling that obligation. I was perfectly fine with that. Um, but uh, since I've been here and done more research, I've learned that that's not always the best option, and there's better ones out there. Uh, just because you are a new CDL driver or new CDL holder doesn't mean one of the big companies um, will not take you, especially if your record's good and you, you have no issues to that nature. So don't you don't have to go with, um, I won't say bottom of the barrel, but you, you don't have to go with no-name companies. You can actually go out for the, for the names that you see when you're normally driving down the road because they want drivers just like every other company does or, or they'll, they need drivers just like every other company does. Because um, there's a shortage, it's not like there's a, enough CDL drivers out there, or at least people willing to to do this uh, line of work. Um, for me, it, it just it just works. And uh, fortunately, after that incident with Amber, who um, was so disrespectful and had dismissed me over the phone um, from from her from the company, I was able to uh, get in get in line with this. Uh, great new company. I received my conditional offer, and uh, as soon as I get home, I should be good to go. Um, I do have to go tomorrow, which surprised me because everyone else I saw leave, they got or saw complete their CDL test, they got their clipboard and they left. Um, but so I was surprised to find out we got to um, actually stay out till Friday. But um, I did ask, uh, you know, to go home af today after my test, and, and I was told by one of our admins that that was fine. And so, no issues there. I, hell, I even asked twice just to make sure. Like, so there's no issues there. Um, tomorrow should be my last day. I graduate tomorrow, so I don't know. Again, I don't know if I have to be there the whole time. I really don't understand how that works. But 150 hours is 150 hours, so whatever. If that means I go home and then come back on Monday or Tuesday or whenever the hell I decide to come back, then so be it. Um, but yeah. The Happy Nappy Trucker is now CDL, a, a CDL holder, or soon will be, um, and it's it was very stressful. Uh, so uh, if you're if you're looking into to be getting your CDL and you don't have much experience with driving or you had never driven before, or or even shifting for that matter, if you've never driven a vehicle that that has a manual transmission, I would highly recommend that you come with that experience first as well as um, maneuvering even a, a small trailer. Even a trailer hooked to like the back of a pickup truck um, will still ingrain the concepts of, of how the tractor drives the trailer. Because, uh, you know, in your car, you turn left, the, the ass end of your car is going to turn left. You turn right, the ass end of your car is going to turn right. And the trailer, it's, it's a whole backwards, like, unintuitive way <laughs> that it works. I love physics and science. But, um... So yeah, that will definitely help you and make, you probably won't be as stressful or as stressed out as I was, but uh, I am living proof that you know you can do it as long as you think through what's going on um, and that you uh, and that you work your butt off, that you really study and, and that you give it your all while you're out at whatever training you, you decide to go to. Other than that, this is the Happy Nappy Trucker. Still happy, still nappy. Peace.